Hello, this is Mighty Owl. It's Thanksgiving, and Isabella has a long shopping list. And because stores are a great place to see math in action, I thought we could tag along. Ooh, look at these prices. They all have decimals. What do you say, since we're here, let's help Isabella out with some decimal calculations. Isabella is buying some cheese for sandwiches. If she buys 0.25 pounds of cheese, and a pound of cheese costs $3, well, how much will she need to pay? All right, so we want to multiply 0.25 by 3 like this. And now let me show you a little math trick to help you multiply decimals like a real math magician. Time to do some magic. We're going to remove the decimal point for now, and we'll multiply the two numbers in the way we already know how to do it. 3 times 5 is 15. We place the 5 and carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus the carried over 1 is 7. And we write that down. Now next, we have 3 times 0, which is 0, and so we get 75. And that seems quite pricey for such a small amount of cheese. Hmm, am I forgetting something? Oh yeah, that magic trick when we removed the decimal point earlier. We need to put it back now. You see how there are two digits to the right of the decimal we started with? Two and five? Well, we need to put two decimal figures in the answer too. So how are we going to do that? Well, we put a zero in front of seven, five, and starting from the right, we count to the left two figures to find the place for the decimal point. One, two. And there we go, 0.75. Isabel needs to pay 75 cents for cheese. Now that was helpful. There were two digits to the right of our decimal point in the problem, and we moved the decimal point two places over in our answer. Huh. Did you notice something? Even though we multiplied, the answer is still kind of small. We started with $3, and after multiplying, we now have 75 cents. When we multiply using decimals, it does not always result in a larger number. Huh, how interesting is that? But let me show you another mighty math trick before we move on to helping Isabella with her shopping list. Here we have these two decimals that we need to multiply. Now when you read this expression, you can read it as 7 tenths multiplied by 3 tenths. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Oh, that's right, it's the same way we read fractions. And that means that we can write the decimals as fractions as well. When multiplying fractions, we multiply the numerators and the denominators. 7 times 3 is 21, and 10 times 10 is 100. So our answer is 21 hundredths. And we can write this as a decimal. 0 0.21. Fantastic! Now let's catch up to Isabella to help her with her shopping. All right, she needs to buy 0 0.5 pounds of avocado for a delicious guacamole. Mmm, hope we're going to get chips too. Now a pound of avocados costs $4. So how much will she spend on avocados? All right, here's a little challenge for you. Now leave your pen and paper aside and let's try to answer the question in our heads. It's mental math time! Now we need 0 0.5 pounds of avocado, and we can turn 0 0.5 into the fraction 5 tenths, or we could also say that we need 5 tenths pounds of avocado, and this can be simplified to one half. So we're actually looking for half a pound of avocados. Half of 4 is 2. Cool, here we go. Isabella will spend $2 on avocados. Wow, that was a very handy relationship between fractions and decimals. And here are some other relations which will be helpful to remember. Like 0 0.5 equals 1 half. Or 0 0.25 equals 1 fourth. 0 0.2 is actually 2 tenths. Or 1 fifth. Now that might be handy for some quick mental math tricks, right? Ooh, Isabella's doing a lot of shopping. Maybe we should go back and help her. Ooh, where'd Isabella go? Isabella! Ah, there she is. Now the last item on Isabella's list is paper towels. 
She needs some help choosing paper towels. She can buy a pack of 12 rolls for $20 or individual rolls for $1.73 a piece. Which is a better deal? Well, I'm sure we can help her figure it out. Let's check how much it would cost to buy 12 rolls for $1.73 a piece. Then we'll compare it to the price of the 12 pack. Okay, we're going to start by multiplying 12 by 1 and 73 hundredths. Well, let's break up 12 into 10 plus 2. So we're going to multiply 10 by 1 and 73 hundredths. Now keep in mind the shortcut for multiplying by 10s. We can move the decimal place over to the right and get 17 and 3 tenths. Ah, perfect. Now, 2 times 1 and 73 hundredths. Now let's set it up. 2 times 3 is 6. And 2 times 7 is 14. Place the 4, carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, uh, plus the carried over 1 is 3. And now, where do we place the decimal? Hmm. Well, looking at our problem, there are two digits to the right of the decimal point. And we want to make sure that there are also two places to the right of the decimal point in the answer as well. Okay, so we put it right there. And we get 3 and 46 hundredths. And now it's time to add these values together. So we've got 3 and 46 hundredths plus 17 and 3 tenths. All right, first we're going to line up the place values. And now we can add. So uh, 0 plus 6 is 6. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. Place the 0, carry the 1. 1 plus the carried over 1 is 2. And now we know if Isabella buys the paper towel rolls individually, It'll cost her $20.76. Well, $20.76 is more than $20, so it's cheaper to buy them in bulk. Go ahead and get that 20 pack, Isabella. Fantastic work today. We did some mighty multiplication with decimals, and I showed you some pretty handy tricks for you to use. Keep on practicing while we check out. Ka-ching! And I'll see you in the next lesson.